Um, okay, so as you guys know, every week I've been breaking down a sort of Lebanese influencer that I really like. And this week I wanted to talk about two people who are better known as Kazdura, George Khalaf and Stefania Atallah. Now, uh, full disclosure, I was one of the original producers when Kazdura first launched. I was there since day one when George was just hosting it by himself. Uh, I was instrumental in recommending Stefania Atala to be George's co-host. I'm going to remind you of that every day, George. Never forget. I'm always going to take credit for that. Uh, so I, I've been there since, since like day one. I know George a lot more than I know Steph, to be completely fair. I've, I've hung out with George countless times. I've seen Stefania Atala once, maybe twice. We're friendly on like social media and stuff, but I've never, I've very rarely interacted with her. But she seems very genuine. She's very funny. And I, she's been such a great addition to the show. And, um, and I think the show has honestly managed. It, the show has been fucking going. And I think we don't realize it for like five years now, four or five years. And it consistently scores a huge audience. And I think it is mostly due to the chemistry between George and Steph. They're adorable together. They're lovable. We all love them. And I have a particular soft spot for George because I just know George so well. By the way, if you guys don't know George, I have a funny story about George. If you guys have seen that XXL commercial on TV where George is like, you know, Monique. Monique. With Elias uh, Zayik. That ad made George incredibly fucking popular. Once we were walking in City Mall, like three years ago, and I, I shit you not, a lady stopped George, gave him her baby to hold, and George took a photo with her baby like he's the fucking Pope. Because of the XXL commercial, I shit you not, we're all like fucking looking dumbstruck. Like, what's, is he fucking carrying a baby? That is, that is literally a true story. Um, I, I honestly love those guys. Their show is, they're so down to earth. They drive around, they get food and all that. But I find that secondary, honestly, the whole driving around getting food to just their chemistry. And now I'm going to be a little bit real with George and Steph. And please don't hate me. And I've had this conversation with George in private. But it's time to make it public to put a little bit of pressure on George. Now, they're both busy. Steph is busy. She's a very busy actress. And George is a very busy producer. And he, they both have a lot on, on their hands. But I do think they got lazy with Kazdura. And I'm just going to be real with you guys. I think George and Steph have a huge audience. And I think that... George and Steph have relied a bit too much on the let's get in the car and let's go get food gimmick. Look, it worked for the first three, four years. At this point, we're in a country where getting in a car and going to get food is kind of weird and, and like kind of impossible. A, most restaurants are closing. A lot of people can't afford to go get food anymore. So I think that just the concept of the show at this point, I'm not, I'm not trying to shit on it. It's, it's hard. Like, I understand if they're, if they're having a hard time making episodes, I understand why it's hard to make a show during these times, which is why I've told George before, and now I'm going to say it publicly, start a goddamn podcast with you and Steph. Dude, if I had an audience and if people liked me as much as they like you and Steph, I would have done a podcast like years ago, dude. You guys have a massive audience. And again, people don't tune in to watch you guys eat and give generally always a positive review because you guys are nice and you don't want to talk shit about the restaurant. So give the people what they want, a George and Steph show where you guys sit and talk for like 30 minutes to an hour. I guarantee you it will be successful. There are people that are way less likable than you guys and way less charismatic than you guys doing fucking podcasts out there when you guys should be doing it. When I guarantee you, you guys would have a massive audience. You would have one of the most popular podcasts in Lebanon. I, I honestly could guarantee it. I would put money on it. All you need to do, get a couple of mics each of you and do zoom calls with good quality audio and you have yourselves a podcast problem solved love you guys love kazdura i'm gonna keep watching till the day i die you know i hope they can figure out how to deal with the current situation because it's not easy you know it's hard for anyone to make content right now uh so oops yeah so george and steph do not worry